Hello guys and welcome to Plus Equal. In the last tutorial we prepared a Unity project in order for us to begin creating some C Sharp script. And today we are continuing where we left off. So let's go. And in the share we will already send the script to it because I want to change this game object transform. And to change the transform we are talking uh, about three things that we can change. We can change the position, the rotation and the scale. In this case, I want to change the position. Imagine that at this moment, the share is in the air. Let's do something here real fast. Let's apply material to the ground. And this way we can see whether this will pass the ground or not. So our ground is at position zero. And if you try to put this at zero, it will be submerged. But we put if one, it will be okay. So imagine that I want this to be at two, one, and two, for example. I want my share to start there, okay? Uh, but at this moment, it's not happening. I I have my position above and completely out of nowhere. But I want my share to be here, almost close to the to its shadow. And in Unity, this works like this. First, we need to access the game object. Then we go to the transform. In the transform, we go to position. And then we have X, Y, and Z, where each one of them have its own value. Let's just take the rigid body of the share. So, so the physics will not mess up with it. And our share stays there, overing above our ground and we don't want that we want to put our share there and you know the value the value was two one two so we go to visual studio and in the start method because we already attached this script to the game object we don't need to specify which game object we want to access but what you can do is already go for the transform so transform is this part here and now we use the dot a dot here is like a connection uh, so I go inside transform and inside transform you can see that Visual Studio have a lot of stuff going on here and I want to go for position I can find position here uh, there we go position or I can write it and this will give me just three options now and we want to position we can press enter to fill this in. So now that we have the transform dot position, if we put our mouse over in this position here, we can see a vector tree here, the world space position of the transform. If we go to unity again, we can see that the position have three values. In a certain way, that is what vector tree is. It's something that sort three values. And so if we put equal, that means let's assign a new position to our object and let's put new vector tree because we don't have a created value so we need to create a new vector tree we want to create a new group of three or three values and they will be x i and z right let's put a semicolon here to end the statement so this is our constitution of the vector tree now the only thing that we need to do is to change this to the values that we want. So we want it to be 2, 1 and 2 again. The asterisk right there will change when we save the file. It's gone. Now we can go back to Unity and this will compile. And if everything goes OK, when we press play, our share should move its transform position to the values that we just input and there we go our share now is on the floor exactly in the position that we wanted but we almost every time have more than one way to do things and if we wanted to change this in other way that this is what we should do we come here we can create a variable and then assign it here instead of putting the values here so imagine that I don't want this to be here. 
I can create something like a public vector tree and call it something like initial position. Then we could declare initial position equal to new vector tree. Let's copy and paste this right there. And then we could say that transform.position equals to initial position. This will do the same thing. The only difference is that we are declaring something on top. Then we are saying that this will equal to this vector tree and then the transform dot position will be equal to that vector. Let's control S and see if this works as well. The main difference that you should spot is that initial position now it's here and you may ask why is that here? We'll explain it in a bit. Let's just press play and see if it's working and it is. Our object in the, is in the same position as well so that's another way to do it. And having this here it's because in code we made this vector tree that is called initial position we made it public and this is reflected by appearing here in the inspector. So this is even another way to do things and I will take this out and I will just leave it like this so we are declaring a variable here and we are saying that we want to transform dot position to be equal to that variable I, I saved my file and inside unity we can write here 2 1 and 2 and this if we hit play we'll do the exact same thing than the other options in code so that's three ways to change the game object position. I hope you guys learned something new with this little C sharp code. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. I can promise you a lot of new content is coming. Even while outside the world is kind of a mess. Please keep learning. Please keep building your future. Because it will be 100% worth it. So I hope to see you in the next tutorial. Thank you a lot for watching, I will see you there, stay cool.